everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we are going to be creating or laying out, formatting, filling in my 2023 Notion page. Basically, I'm not very good at Notion. I often forget that it even exists after I spend several hours filling and creating and making it. Um, but I like to think I'm a Notion person. I'm not, but I like to think that I am. And especially in 2023, because I have so many languages I want to be learning, I'm gonna try and use Notion more. Will I is a great question, but we're gonna try. I'm going to try and uh, make Notion more maybe like friendly for me by doing bi-weekly plans and stuff like that. Um, and I mean like I'm gonna be adding three new languages to my want to learn list um, for 2023 compared to the one that I'm currently learning right now. So I definitely need a lot more schedule when it comes to language learning because I plan on learning so many languages in 2023. So Notion would be a great start to that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be going from learning one language in 2022, which is Swedish, to learning four languages in 2023, and um, uh, you'll find out what those languages are really soon. I'm not going to really explain much of why I will be learning them in 2023, because I'm going to be saving that for my goals video, for 2020, my 2023 goals video. But, I mean, like, part of this Notion thing is to write out, like, your lifetime goals for learning the language. So, you'll kind of see why. I'm just not going to explain it super heavily, but there's that. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my Notion. This is my Flying High with Languages. Don't ask me why I decided to do hot air balloons as my theme. And I don't know where this picture came from because this is not the picture I had on here a little while ago, but now it's this and I don't I don't know where it came from, but that's my picture apparently. We might have to change that. It's hard to find a picture of a hot air balloon that will fit in this format right here, so I don't know. But my theme is flying high with languages. And if this Notion layout looks any bit familiar to you, that is because I did not create this. I bought it. <laughs> I bought it from Anna Lynx, and I will leave her channel, her video, down below in the description box. But just a quick little view, this is what it originally looked like. And I was not vibing with the vibes, okay? This is not... I just wasn't for it, alright? Did not like... I don't know why, I just didn't like the green. So I went with a beautiful hot air balloon theme, and I quite like it. And I like the whole little like flying high with languages. In 2022, it was one language I was flying high with. So we weren't very high off the ground. But in 2023, we straight up lit that fire in the balloon, flew all the way up, and perhaps the fire's going out. Like, I don't know. So yeah, this is my, my language template um and uh, yeah i'll leave the link to the actual template in the description box so you guys can go and uh, buy it if you want it's like four dollars very affordable in my opinion so now that we've changed the cover to something that i remember clicking on <laughs> let's go through my languages so as you guys can see kind of right here you can kind of tell what three languages i'm going to be mainly learning like I said I'm learning four but one of them you can't really have a vocabulary page for it just doesn't work out like that so these are the three that I will have a vocabulary page for this is my monthly goal page and here is my fourth language that I will be learning um, and yeah this is I don't really know how I'm gonna use this but it's there I plan on making monthly goals to try and hit so I think that's pretty self-explanatory these are the vocabulary pages. I kind of like already went through and did this because it was very uh, repetitive. Just going through, changing things, adding things, and uh, yeah. I don't plan on putting every vocabulary word I learn in there, but the ones I struggle with I will put in there. This is my two-week schedule because I have a 
every two weeks I get my work schedule and so I plan on planning my language learning around that schedule. Obviously I cannot do this with you guys right now, but I think maybe I will have another video where I kind of go through and plan this out and plan out my January goals. So stick around for that. I might have that, might not, we'll see. And then over here are my goals for the year. And we're not clicking on those yet. Not yet. So the first thing we're going to do is go down here to the languages cards because uh, this is like the whole reason I wanted this particular template was because of this card section. I love it and I could not for the life of me figure out how to do it. So I just paid for it. And we're going to add my languages in order of what I plan on studying the most throughout the weeks. Obviously, this, I believe, it does change based on what languages you studied most frequently. And the ones you haven't studied at, like very much at all, I think, go to the front. So I think that's how that works. But let's just go through and add them right now because I don't plan on starting them till the new year anyway, as much as it kills me. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is Russian. And we're going to add a cover and change the cover to uh, Moscow, probably. Which one, which one do I want? I don't, you don't really get a lot to look at. Oops. You don't really get a lot to look at until you click on them. So what do I want? Maybe one with a night sky to go with my Swedish. Okay, I think that looks really pretty because it's got like a pretty blue in the background to match the green northern light situation we got for Sweden and Stockholm, Sweden to be more specific. So that's going to be the card for Russian. And then we're going to add an icon. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. So for an icon, we're just going to look up Russian. And I'm going to do a circular one because for Swedish, I have the circ a circular image of the flag and I want them all to match. So we'll just do this first one right here. It's the flag. It is a circle. It will work. Okay, so there we go. There is my Russian. Let's move on to Spanish. And I will be learning a particular dialect for this one. Um, Barcelona Spanish is the one I'm going to focus on mostly because, well, in my language video, you'll kind of find out why. Is that not how you spell Barcelona? Oh, is it the capital B that was throwing you off? Or the lowercase b? I like this one. Do we have one of the dark so it matches? Are these deer? Are they moose? Mice? Mooses? Nope, they're deer, I believe. Um, do I not have a nighttime image of Barcelona? Because I would like it to match. I guess not. But I do like this one. This is a very pretty, in my opinion, picture of Barcelona. So we'll do that. And then I actually need to get a picture, uh, an icon for the language. And I'm going to look up Spain because I want the Spain flag and not like the Mexico flag and thankfully that popped up so this one would work I don't there's two that look the same this one is very a lot of yellow hmm I think this is so cute and I kind of wish I could do that but I want them all to match um it's an unhappy it's an un it's an unhealthy habit of mine. <laughs> so I think we'll just do the first circle. Oh, but look at that one. That one's so cute. Okay, we'll do this one. I gotta get out of here because I'm gonna be stuck here. Um, I love Flat Icon. It's a website. It's also linked down below. Free icons for you guys to use with like no matter what. I use them in my YouTube videos, so we'll do that. And then, boom, here is my Spanish one. And then my final language is going to be ASL. I am picking up sign language again, and I'm kind of emotional about it. I don't know why, but I really love sign language. And I actually studied sign language, I would say, for a few months, maybe, or 
I want to say like a year. Like I studied it for a year, but I wasn't serious about it. I was just kind of like learning a few new words to sign with two of my friends from school, Molly and Sharon. And um, I had to stop because it hurt my fingers and it made, it gave me a lot of pain to sign and that's not good. Also, Ela just kicked on and that's what you're sitting on, so I apologize. But my fingers are still hurting now, years later. My wrist hurts from being on the computer because I did all my high school online and I feel like that really contributed to it. I write, I edit videos. So really, it's like, if I'm gonna end up having to quit and be in pain, from the things I love, I might as well be able to do one of the things I love, which is sign language, um, as long as I can. So I'm going to pick up ASL again. And there is another reason for that, and we'll get to that when we do my lifetime goals section of this Notion tab. But for right now, I am uh, putting ASL on here because I'm really excited to start learning it again and uh, be able to use it. So here we go. Let's change the cover to... Uh, sign language and then uh, there is a dark one there's also one with green on it to go with the other green we have but let's do this this sky one because boop we have like two dark ones and then two light ones I think that one's really pretty and then I need to get an icon 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 uh, icon okay um, sign, sign language, boop bop, boop bop, boop bop, 2,000 sign language icons. Um, that's not a sign language icon. I like this one, but it doesn't have a circle around it, and I wanted to have a circle to match all of the other ones. Ooh, I love this one. Look how pretty this one is. So, yeah, there we go. We have... Swedish, Russian, Spanish, and ASL, American Sign Language, and uh, it already kind of feels like a lot <laughs> because it is a lot to go from learning one language to learning four is a lot. And some people will say like, well, you're not going to become as fluent in those languages very quickly, as quickly as you would if you were just learning one language at a time. And you're right. But, as I found out while doing my 90 day Swedish challenge, I can't just study one language at one time because I get unbelievably bored with learning the same language every single day for several hours at a time. And that can honestly just be the 90 day challenge that made it boring, but having to force myself to learn Swedish every single day was really just not very good for my progress with that language. And I, I definitely felt that this 90 day challenge really hindered my ability to learn as much as one should and could learn in a 90 day period. So that's kind of why I'm stepping back from full time one language to do like full time or part-time, uh, seasonal, if you want to say, <laughs> uh, language learning and do multiple languages so that I get a break from each language. I'm not studying the same language every single day, but instead studying one language, enjoying it, studying a different language and enjoying it. And of course there could be a day where I have it in my schedule that I'm supposed to be learning Spanish and I want to learn Swedish. Well then I'll learn, I'll learn Swedish if I want to. You know what? I'm not going to let by my interest in a certain language on a certain day affect what I can or can't do. So that's kind of why I'm doing so many languages and why I'm actually picking up two languages, starting a new one, and then continuing Svenska. So there is that. Alrighty, so now we are here in the goal section on my Notion tab. The one you guys have probably been waiting for the most. And I already have the four languages that are the, the main focus of the year already written down. Svenska, Russian, Spanish, and ASL. So, 
let's get into the life goals for these. So the life goals for Swedish. It feels very like official because I don't know, but one of them is to travel to Swedish and therefore to be able to communicate with natives in their native tongue. So that's one of the reasons I want to learn Swedish is because maybe for my 21st birthday I might be having a trip down there. Um, it was like a throwaway thing that I was talking about at my dad's house. It was like, well, maybe we can go there for your 21st birthday. And I was like, bet. And so now it's kind of like the main reason I'm learning Swedish. Um, so yes. And if you're like, Madison, you're not learning Swedish to be able to watch Young Worlds in Swedish without any English subtitles. No, that's not my goal. That show just introduced me to the language again. So there's that. And then my other goal for Swedish is to... Um, be able to translate stories into English or, oh, let's just do translate stories because for all of these languages, I would love to be able to use them to translate and to introduce the English speakers or perhaps the Russian speakers who don't speak this language to these beautiful stories because there are so many fantastic books out in the world and uh well not everyone we can't read all of them and there's plenty of fantastic books in english i would love to read so i thought let's just do some more in other languages because you know so yeah there we go those are my main goals for swedish they're not super complicated but they could be reasonable so let's move on to Russian. Now, let me get something for you guys. Okay, so you guys can see something's missing. And that's because in 2023, in 2022, apologies, my favorite book of the year was Vita Nostra. Um, this is a book that was originally written in Russian. And so this is basically the entire reason why I want to learn the Russian language in the first place. To be able to read Mariana and Sergi Daitonico's stories in their original language and to possibly help translate them into English or Swedish or Spanish for other people to be able to. Sorry, I ran out of time, but I was just saying that I want to be able to speak um, very fluent, and I mean like native, maybe, level of fluent in this language because to be able to read these books in their native tongue and translate them because if there's one thing about this book that is unbelievable and that is uh it's unbelievable to read in english and to comprehend in english it still gives you like a mind breaking <laughs> like oh like why like then that, that's in english okay so to do so in russian I will have, I've, I've taken on a giant task, you guys, because to be able to read Vita Nostra in its original language, I will have to become extremely fluent in said language to be able to do. So it's a very big, daunting task, but I love this book, and I'm excited for the sequel that comes out this year. So, fingers crossed, it won't let me down. So, back to Notion. Um, Russian, the goal is to read... Vita Nostra in Russian. And then another goal, and I don't know why it's only for Russian that I would like to do this for, but this just seems like such an amazing challenge. But I would like to speak to only, I'm sorry, only speak Russian for a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a month so there's that okay and to do that I would probably have to live in Russia so this one's kind of like eh maybe depending on relations with Russia and where that goes so moving onward to Spanish I have one reason but a it for this and that is and then ASL why am I learning ASL again well, that is to communicate with Merle, aka 
Merle is my uh, is the janitor at my library, and he is deaf. And I feel horrible when that I can't communicate to him. So I would like to be learning. I'm learning sign language to be able to speak with him, and to just maybe make him feel a little bit more comfortable working there, and to not feel like he's so isolated. Because I feel like, you know. There's 11 people that work there, including me. He is one of them. And none of us speak sign language. And I would really like to be able to communicate with him and maybe just make him feel more welcome. And I always feel so bad in the morning that I can't even say, like, good morning to him. How how did you sleep? Or how have you been? How are you? And so I want to be able to communicate with him. And that's why I'm picking up ASL again, is to be able to communicate with my coworker, Merle. So I actually think I'm going to end the video here, and let me tell you why. Because I do plan on making a 2023 goal video. I don't want to tell you guys all of my goals right now in this video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how interesting it was. I've never made a Notion video before, but I still hope you guys liked it. If you did, tell me in the comment section, or if you have any other type of videos you would like to see from me, also tell me in the comment section. Um... Yeah, this is this is me. Wish me good luck because wow, I'm going from only one language to four. Pew. Mentak. I'm going to go. Love y'all so 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 much. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. And uh, hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. I should add that to one of my goals to learn how to say my entire outro in all of these languages. <laughs> Just for fun. Anyway, love you. Hey, Dua. Adios. And, uh, bye. Is that hello? Is that bye? Don't even try and get me started on Russian.